Welcome to this video on importing NX assemblies into Team Center. The most important task when importing NX files into Team Center is the cleanup of data. Once a set of files are imported into Team Center, it is time consuming to delete the ones that are wrong. Check that all files and assemblies can open and be saved in NX. Team Center requires that all item IDs are unique. If you are using methods other than auto-generate, the source, such as OS file name or attribute, must have unique values. If importing files from a folder, make sure only those files you wish to import are in that folder. You must decide if you wish to maintain the associative with part families. If so, there are additional steps required to maintain that associativity. This will be covered in another video. It is recommended that the file imports be tested in a test environment before importing into production. The assembly to be imported is a wheel caster. It consists of components of an axle, frame and rivets, also a wheel subassembly which contains components of a rim and a tyre. A part attribute of P name has been input. During the cleanup process, another step is to check that all required part attributes are present in the files. The attribute name is correct and the values have been input. When the Team Center system for your organization was defined, there may be additional attributes that will be synced with Team Center. Check that they are also present. Drawings are present for each model. The model and drawings have been moved into a single folder. Start an NX session from Team Center. The command is import assembly into Team Center. There is a reset button in the top right corner. Select the item type for creation. Here I'm going to use item. With the numbering source, part ID generator will assign the next available item ID numbers. The OS file name can also be used as an item ID. A part attribute such as P number could also be used to generate the ID. The system can auto select components or dependent parts. The load option dialog has the same function as the load option in normal NX assemblies. I'll select a single part to import, in this case the rivet. The rivet ID and name has been auto-generated. The numbering source is now set to OS file name. A new part is brought in, in this case the axle. The ID and name is set to the OS name. The revision is set to 01 from the OS name. There are rules that set what part of an OS file name is the name and what part is the revision. Notice that the caster assembly and frame are also listed. This is because the axle has wavelengths from these parts. After a reset, the defaults for name is an attribute called pname, and the description is taken from an attribute called pdesk. Import from folder will import all files from a folder. An option is to select the top assemblies in that folder. 
The item IDs have been auto-generated and the name taken from the attribute. A bit of a problem with the wheel assembly, obviously there wasn't an attribute, so I'll now add the name. Note that the drawings have their own unique IDs. I want the drawings to be contained within the same item revision as the master. Using control click I'll select each row that represents a drawing. Moving across to the relationship type column, it is changed from master to specification. The drawings now have the correct relationship. There is a preference shown at the end of the video to automate this process. The Team Center destination folder is now added. It's a good idea to validate the information. Then do a dry run to test everything. Selecting OK will commit the data to Team Centre. In the client, check that everything has come in. Note the description from the attribute PDesk has also been used. Opening the assembly from Team Center and resaving will generate the thumbnail images and, if required, the JT data. To automate the import of drawings, there is an option in the customer defaults. Treat part with drawing sheet as non-master. This will set the parts that contain a drawing sheet to relation type of specification. 